Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we're going over the tops in a big tournament in Asia that happened just now. It was the ACQ or Asian Championship qualifier for Malaysia. It had 256 players according to Joshua Rava, one of the judges. Can you say G said it was about 260? So I'm assuming this general number is the correct number of players right here. The top three most played clans were Nubatama, Gear Chronicle and Bermuda. And the top 16 was as follows. There are eight Eight Gear Chronicle decks, that's right, half the decks in top 16 was Gears. One the leader deck, one Victor deck, as I said before, this fellow was bound to pop up here and there again. One Coral deck, as stated in a previous video, they got quite some solid support and so they're rising in the ranks. Two Harmony decks, though I'll be a little bit more specific on this one later in the video, it's not your typical Harmony deck. Two Dark Irregular decks and one Nubatama deck. Now we also have an interesting document from the judge Kenneth Lim from said tournament with all the pairings in the top rounds. So in top 8, we have four Gear Chronicles, one Nova Grappler, one Nubatama and two Harmony decks. So it looks like Gears just keeps going strong. Top four ended up being three Gear Chronicle players and one Harmony player. But again, this is not your typical Harmony deck. This is not a Loris deck. And then the finals was won by said Harmony deck and it won the finals going 2-0. So it didn't even lose there. Just straight up perfect score. This Bermuda Triangle player named Kang Wei, sorry if I totally ruined the name, actually went up against three gear decks back to back in top 8 and won the whole tournament just like that. So now for the list, as you can see this is not a regular Harmony deck. This is a deck which relies on Ange or Ange, the new grade 3 rather than Laris. Now there's obviously many interesting things about this deck but the main thing that caught me off guard is that unlike other Ange based decks this list does not run Crook the stand. Crook is such a great card and yet he opted for 12 criticals instead. I I first thought he did this because crits speed up the game and thus this would give him a better chance against some of the decks that really go hard on GB3. However, he actually answered this question with the amazing answer, crit wins you games. Very deep. Now for real though, the full answer is actually that the 5k body has more use in the early game, fixes columns late game and he also says the stand is countered easily by Gear Chronicle. So that was actually some forethought on his side I guess that Gear Chronicle would be popular and Crook is being countered by that, he says. So congratulations Kang Wei and for everyone watching, I hope this was useful in some way. I think the meta is really shifting in an interesting way again. Apart from Gears being so mega popular, the meta seems to be really diverse and that's pretty cool to see. That was it for today, hope you found this informative. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to stay up to date. Pick up your very own Zero Damage Gaming playmats at the link in the description. Use the code LAUNCH at checkout to get 10% off your first order and I will see you soon. Ciao.